Hello friends, my name is Kapil and today we are going to talk about how you can create histogram charts in an Excel file. There are two methods. One is the inbuilt functionality method. Second is the manual method. In the inbuilt functionality method, if you have latest version of Excel file, then you will be able to create histogram chart with the inbuilt functionality method and it helps to create the chart quickly in an Excel file. Second method is to create histogram chart is manual. There are some steps which you need to follow. Once you follow those steps, you will be able to create histogram charts and it can work with any version of Excel file. We are going to talk about both the methods in this video and I'm going to explain that why we need histogram charts. Okay. And when you should be using histogram charts. So basically when you have data type, which is based on continuous data set, or continuous data set theory, then you should be creating histogram charts. What do I mean with this continuous data? So on my screen, if you see this heights, okay, this data set can be measured on a scale. It could be in inches, it could be in meter, or it could be in feet. Same we can see weight. Weight can also be measured on a scale like in pounds, in kilograms, or in grams. Am I right? So any data set which can be measured on a scale that is called a continuous data. And in that case, you can create histogram chart. So before creating histogram chart, you should be knowing that your data set is should be continuous. If it is continuous, you should be using histogram chart. Now, what is the purpose of using histogram chart? Purpose of using histogram chart is that when you actually want to check the distribution of your data set across different categories. Second purpose is when you want to check whether your data is normal or not. So basically this method is being used by the statistician when they are doing some Six Sigma study or they want to study their data collection strategy is correct or not. So they check this histogram chart to understand whether their data is normal or not. So I will not go into details, but you can ask questions if you have something in the comment section. I will be trying to answer those questions. Now let's understand how you can create histogram chart in an Excel file. But before I start talking about this, I'm requesting you to please subscribe my YouTube channel and click on below bell icon to get the notifications. Let's get started. So on my screen, if you see that I have this data set, all the student names are listed here. Okay. So basically I got this uh, data from one of the university and I got the data for heights, weight and ages. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to check the distribution for this height data across categories and I want to check in which category most of the students are falling. How I can do that? I need to use histogram chart. So select these data points. Okay. Once you select it, go up from this uh, scroll bar. Okay. Because uh, I will be creating chart on the top. Click on this insert. Once you click on this insert, you will be seeing this statistic chart option. And when you click this option, you will be seeing this histogram chart. You just need to click on this. This option is currently available in the latest version of Excel file. If you do not have this option, you have no need to worry because I'm going to talk about manual method as well. So I got my histogram chart now. Okay. Here I can see there are some gaps and it is not properly distributed. Am I right? So I just need to do some adjustment. What do you need to do? You need to right click on this X axis, click on this format axis. Once you click on that, you will be seeing this format axis window. And here you need to click on this bin width. In the bin width, you will be seeing that it is 0.8. What does it mean? It is basically an interval between two data points. Okay. So if you see my chart, it is starting from 67 and ending at 67.8. And in the next category, you will be seeing 67.8 till 68.6. So there is a gap of 0.8 that is called an interval. Okay. So I will always recommend you to use integer number rather than any decimal. Otherwise, it will be creating these gaps on the chart. So let me use the nearest integer that is 1. Once I press 1 here, let me press enter. And now you can see it is correctly created. And now I can see this. Now let me remove this. Okay. Because this Y axis I don't need. I need to remove this. And in the chart title, I can just name it histogram chart. And uh, if you want to use something else, you can use that. Now it looks good. I can do some formatting if you want. You can do formatting by yourself. And uh, on the x-axis, I can see that my majorly population is falling between 71 to 75 height. Am I right? So that is what you can check with histogram chart. 
If you want to check the normal distribution, you can see it is creating a normal valve cup and it is well centered. It means my data is normal. If it is uh, sent, uh, like if it is aligned to the left side or the right side, okay, it means it is skewed to the left or right. It means that it is not normal data. Now let's understand how we can create the chart with the manual method or in the older version of Excel files. So let me shift this chart on the right side so that it will not interrupt me while creating the chart. Let me open this grouping button and I will be seeing some details here. So I need to calculate few details before creating my histogram chart. First, I need to check the maximum number of this range. Let me put max and then I will be selecting this uh, population. Okay. And I'll be pressing enter. So this is the maximum number. Then we have this minimum number here also again I am using the same range and I will be getting minimum number. Now in the range, okay, range formula is maximum minus minimum. So it is a basic steps. Let me use maximum number and then deduct this minimum number and I will be getting my range that is 16. N means number of my data points. So here I can either count with the function or else I can count it manually. So let me select this range, press enter and here I can see 1034 data points I have. Then I need to calculate class width. In the class width on the top, you will be seeing this formula range divided by square root of n. Okay, so we have this range, then we need to calculate square root for this 1034. So for that, I can use SQRD formula and then number I can keep this and then I can press enter. I got my class width. And in the adjusted class width, I told you that when you want to create a class width, you should always be using the integer number. Am I right? So that is called interval also. So let me use roundup function. And here, let me put this number and uh, comma. In the number digits, I'll be putting zero. So it will be calculating the nearest integer. Okay. So that is how you will be calculating your interval. Now here, I just need to put uh, details here to create the histogram chart. But before I start talking about this, I want to show you something. So here is your surprise. I have created the secrets of Excel data visualization course where I have included five hours plus videos. And you will be learning 20 plus chart types, including basic to advanced level demo. I have included the charts which you cannot find anywhere on the internet. And this is really going to help you when it is about creating data visualization. These days, people are facing challenges. They are buying very costly tools like Tableau, Power BI. They are paying very higher rates. Am I right? It is because we do not know that we can create these kind of charts in Excel itself. But we need to understand these tricks. We need to learn these tricks and we need to practice these tricks. So what I have done, I have created this course where you will be seeing 20 plus cheat sheets. You will be getting 25 plus chart types, high definition videos and on course support. It means if you have questions during your course journey, I will be answering your questions and you will be getting 20 plus assignments. You will be practicing that by yourself and you will be learning these amazing chart and this can make you wonderful in Excel data visualization and you can impress your bosses. So let's enroll the, into this course. You you can just check out the description section where you will be seeing a link. Just click on that link and go into the course. And I'm also offering 20% discount for my subscribers. So you can find the coupon code in the description section. Just go there and roll into the course. If you find any challenge, please do comment and let's get started. So let's get back to our original lesson. So now we'll be going to talk about how you can create chart with the manual method. We did some calculation here. So here I'm just uh, doing some calculation like uh, I will be calculating lowest point then highest point. Okay. With the help of interval. So if you remember that my point was starting from 67. Okay. So 67 will be my first point. Let me press enter in the high. How I can calculate high point. I just need to select this 67 then plus this interval and I will be getting 68. In my next category, 68 will be my next low point. And then I will be just dragging the formula down from this second and you will be seeing 68 again. So what I need to do, I just need to fix this G8. Once I fix that, I let me control D and you can see 68 to 69. 
Similarly, what I need to do, I just need to drag this formula down, control D and I can see I have created till 85. I just need to put this on my screen. So how I can do that, I just need to create a class name so that I can put it on my X axis. Okay, for that, what do you need to do? You need to use equal to sign concatenate function. Once you do that, you will be seeing this text. So 67 is my first category, then I have this inverted comma and in the inverted comma, I can put this minus sign, then inverted comma again, then comma, then 68. Let me press enter, I can see my class name here. Let me drag this formula down till 85, so I can see this, okay. So this is my category. And now I will be calculating the occurrences with the help of countifs function. So I need to type countifs and then bracket on, here I can see criteria range 1. In the criteria range 1, I will be selecting this B column, then I will put comma and then in criteria 1. In the criteria 1, what I will be doing, I will be using this greater than and equal to symbol in the inverted comma, and then putting end symbol and then I will be selecting this 67, that is the lowest point. If my numbers are falling between 67 and 68, I want that count with the help of this formula. Then I'm putting comma again. In the criteria range 2, I will be selecting this B column again, comma, and then in the criteria 2, I will be putting more than 68, okay. So inverted comma, more than symbol, then inverted comma, close, end symbol, this is the connector, and then I will be using 68. Once I do that, let me press enter, I can see there are two occurrences between this 67 to 68. Now let me go down and drag this formula down and I got all the numbers. And if you see the total, that is 1034, that is equal to my number of data points. So I'm good, I just need to select these two values, go to insert, in the insert I will be, create, I will be clicking on this column chart, here I will be seeing clustered column chart. I just need to click on this and I will be seeing this window and I can see my histogram chart. I can see some gaps. So what I can do, I can just select the bar. Let me right click, go to format data series and in the format data series, you will be seeing this series option. In the gap width, just put it 10%. Okay. Once you put it 10%, it will look like a histogram chart which we created earlier and you can remove this Y axis because we don't need it and I think it is really amazing. You can change the chart title as per your need. Hope you like this video and uh, please do enroll into that course which I explained you and you will be getting lots of interesting stuff. Let's wind this lesson and please do not forget to subscribe my channel. We'll be connecting again with lots of interesting stuff. Have a great day. Bye-bye.